the University of Edinburgh is a wonderful place to come to study because it's one of the best universities in the world. You get the advantages of the Scottish education system where you get broad choice of topics to begin with before you specialise. You'll get the chance to meet some of the best researchers in the world and the student body is drawn from all over the globe. I chose Edinburgh because I love the city and I like the outside courses option that you can do. Um, currently I'm doing astronomy and a history course and then next semester I'm taking up an extra maths course. I'm lecturing the course Introduction to Linear Algebra, which is the first course that students take when they come to do mathematics at Edinburgh. I think these lectures are different from traditional lectures because we use this electronic voting system. We all have these clickers. They put a question on the board based on reading we've done previously and we answer the question. If most people get it wrong and we have a discussion among our peers, we re-vote and hopefully the vote's increased. Like we all get the right answer and then we move on, we explain the theory and then we move on to the next question. We teach like this in first year because a lot of research has shown that interactive teaching, interactive engagement of students where they're actively thinking about problems in lectures actually works rather better than students sitting passively taking notes. On Tuesdays we have a workshop, it's where we give in our hand-ins, we get them back, we get feedback on what we did wrong for the homework. Normally we're exploring a part of maths that we don't do in our lectures, we really focus on it in the workshop and we help each other through a bunch of questions. Something about maths that you don't necessarily know unless you study maths is that it's quite a collaborative thing to study. People believe that if you've studied maths, you've got a lateral way of thinking. They know that there's creativity involved, they know there's hard work. Math space is basically where you can go if you need any help with a hand in or just something a lecture you didn't understand at all because there's tutors always there and you can always go and ask them for help. The reason that we have the math space is that so first year students have a dedicated place where they can go and work and they'll, there'll always be other math students there that they can talk to and chances are they'll be working on the same thing. And we also have the members of staff there about five to six hours a day. First year students also take part in Math Pals, which is run by higher year students. So the leaders will ask them at the start of the session, what did you find hard this week in the lectures? Sometimes people come in with questions that they want help with and we can like discuss it as a group. There'll be weaker people and stronger people in the group and everyone can help each other. It's a place where you can go and ask really stupid questions and they know exactly why you're asking them. It's questions you wouldn't dare ask a lecturer, but it's fine to ask them there. We really don't mind, and we've all been in that position not that long ago. From second year and above, maths classes take place in the James Clark Maxwell building, which is where the School of Mathematics is based. In JCMB there are multiple computer labs, private study rooms available. There's a really nice cafe downstairs, um, which has got lots of open space. Uh, and it's good for working with people uh, who aren't necessarily on your degree programme. The Maths Hub is fun, dynamic. It's been newly renovated recently uh, and it's just a really nice, friendly environment to work and to relax a wee bit as well. It's used as a workspace but it's quite a bit more informal. Um, so quite often people will be having lunch and food and stuff. The computers are all state of the art, you can do some impressive things with them. And it's a really good way to learn an aspect of maths that is really useful if you're doing academia but also in, it's highly applicable if you're going into say engineering or finance or statistics. Our regular BSc degree takes four years because you study a range of subjects in your first two years. But well-qualified candidates can come directly into second year and take mathematics pretty much all the time from the start. We also have an M-Math degree which adds an extra year of master's level study to the end of the BSc. In that year you'd be doing some more advanced courses of course, but also you would be doing a substantial dissertation supervised by one of the academic staff. I also put on events in collaboration with the career service to help higher year students decide what they want to do after they graduate. The biggest problem is that their options are so wide. The university does provide avenues for you to liaise with a wide array of careers and help you to get into them. This summer I just did an internship for 10 weeks doing oil and gas investment banking um, at quite a large American bank. Maths degrees are valued by most employers. 
Um, I've heard of people doing really well in things like law. Any type of business is going to want mathematicians. The skills are just so valued by employers, the problem solving, the logical, analytical skills. My advice to students who are not sure whether they want to study mathematics is first of all, it's one of the most fun Each things that you can do. Second, it's part of human culture and a lot of what the world is built on is built on mathematics and how we understand the world. And third, it's one of the most applicable topics that there is in statistics, in industry, in finance. And if you really want to find out more, you should come and visit us on an open day. Maths is so creative because of all the different ways you have to think to answer the questions. Your mind is constantly like looking at every different angle of something. I, I've definitely enjoyed studying at Edinburgh, I think. Uh, Edinburgh is a wonderful city to live in, especially as a student. Um, the university is great, it's renowned worldwide, but I think especially this department has been exceptional.